Today we're going to be talking about reviewing and tweaking your trading plan. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Friday night uh, heading into the US session as we wind into Friday night in Perth, Western Australia. Uh, 28th of December heading into the end of the year and it's an appropriate time for talking about reviewing and tweaking your trading plan. Um, but one of the things that I, I suggest and we talk about this in the seven step daily routine for high performance traders uh, in terms of journaling is reviewing your trades every single week and um, depending on the time frame that you're trading possibly at the end of each day. Now for me uh, trading end of day I think it's critical to review each week your trades and to number one follow whether or not or assess whether or not you've actually implemented your trading plan according to what your strategy calls for. So oftentimes we get into live market conditions and perhaps we we see a setup starting to come, we get in too early or, or we've missed a trade and we chase a trade. Um, so number one, sort of looking at your ability to execute properly according to the rules of your trading plan. Now if there's some errors there you need to sort of look at number one, is it it's something in your methodology? Is there something you know in terms of the time frame is, that's pre preventing you or uh, interfering with you being able to execute that properly? Now a second component of reviewing that obviously is you know are you is your strategy actually uh, I, I suppose robust enough or is it is it actually doing what you you think it does so that that comes back to where you're back testing or testing back testing forward testing um, you know I talk about accelerated learning where we go through 10 to 20 trades a day depending on the time frame that you're trading on but it's important to be able to review and, and tweak because there may be some subtle little things that you pick up each week that will allow you to either simplify your approach um, or perhaps you know not necessarily optimize but improve your ability to execute and and also improve your ability to emotionally manage that trade which which comes to our next component which you know again if you're if you're profitable and you're able to execute those your trading plan really well the next goal or the next challenge for you is to obviously perhaps trade bigger now then you have to assess your your emotional skill set at that point are you at the ability or level to handle that extra stress or to handle that extra, that extra trade size properly and still execute and manage your position sizing and, and everything else with the larger size trade? So, you know, again, you can baby step that or you can just, you know, inch your way forward. It depends on where you're at and what your goals and objectives are and, and, and how well you're able to obviously be consistent with that. So. You know, one of the things I like about end of day trading is that it's a, I'm able to duplicate that every single day at the same time with the same approach. You know, and I base that on, you know, weekly and monthly ATRs and the types of setups that I look for. So, you know, you have to assess your, your own time frames, your own, you know, mindset, your, your emotional, uh, I suppose, capital in terms of, you know, taking on those things based on the other things going on in your life and how you're able to manage that. Uh, one of the challenges I had with end of day in terms of executing some of the trades properly on some of the some of the pairs is that at the rollover time the, the um, spreads widen and so that the challenge I had then if they were market entry trades was do I just take a smaller position size and get in at the price available or do I put a limit order in and try to get the same fill that I would have gotten at the close closing price um, you know, just different things like that. And, you know, again, you're going to make mistakes or you're going to, you're going to have some trades that work out for you. You're going to have some trades that don't work out for you. But what did you learn from those trades? Uh, each week, just take a few minutes, review your trades. What did you do well? What could you have done better? How could you perhaps tweak your system a little bit to maybe simplify or to improve your results? Um, these are all the little things that will just, you know, with a little bit of time each week can potentially maybe make a big difference at the end of the year in your trading results. So hopefully you got some value from today's video traders. Uh, again, as we head into the new year, really appropriate time for just reviewing and tweaking, even reviewing over the last 12 months. Uh, look at the different challenges you had that maybe interfered with you being able to be at your best, how going forward this year you can maybe improve that. And as I've spoken about before, how we can make 2018 our best year of trading yet. So 
stay disciplined, stay focused, have a safe and happy new year. And um, heading, heading into January, let's hit the ground running. We'll talk about the January effect in our next video. Thanks traders and have a great week. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.